Hi, I'm Miguel, and I'm a developer advocate on Android TV. And I'm here to introduce you to Frictionless Subscriptions, a new subscription product that's launching on Android TV. The goal of Frictionless Subscriptions is to get users to the content they want as quickly and easily as possible. And in order to do this, we leverage several existing developer integrations. So first, with Google Play Billing, you can support subscriptions, handle out-of-app app purchases, and acknowledge purchases using the latest billing library. Additionally, real-time developer notifications allow you to be notified of new frictionless subscription purchases and let you handle server-side purchase acknowledgement. Next, the new streamlined account linking flow enables account creation and linking, and it's built on top of existing OAuth account linking integrations. Finally, you'll need to use Google Sign-In's Silent Sign-In API to automatically sign the user in on Android TV. Let's take a look at how these integrations come together to make a frictionless experience. So here I am on the Android TV Play Store for my favorite subscription app, Classy Taxi. I can select the subscribe and install button to start the frictionless subscriptions flow. So here in my purchase cart, I can review the subscription details and finalize my subscription purchase before the app is even installed. After finalizing my subscription, Google contacts Classy Taxi's backend to automatically create a new Classy Taxi account for me using my Google identity. This saves me from having to type in my username and password with my remote. Once my account is created, Classy Taxi app launches. Notice I'm automatically signed in with my new account and I can see the newly purchased subscription has already been registered. Now that you have an idea of how this experience works, let's take a deeper dive at the different integrations. First, the new Streamline account linking flow handles account creation and linking, and it's built on top of OAuth account linking. To start, Google sends Classy Taxi a check request along with the Google ID token. Classy Taxi checks if there's an existing matching ID token or email. In this case, I don't have an existing Classy Taxi account, so Classy Taxi returns account found false. Next, Google will send a create request along with the ID token. Classy Taxi will create an account using the user's email, name, and profile picture. After the account is created, Classy Taxi will link the new Classy Taxi account with the Google account and return the access token. But what if you already have an existing Classy Taxi account? Streamline Account Linking also supports this. After Google sends a check request and Classy Taxi finds a matching Google ID or email, it will respond with account found true. Now, instead of sending a create request, Google will send a get request that will link the existing Classy Taxi account with their Google account and return the access token. After streamlining account linking is completed, Google will call the user info endpoint. Frictionless Subscriptions utilizes a new server-initiated approach to acknowledging purchases, utilizing this user info endpoint. After Streamline Account Linking completes, Google calls the user info endpoint for the recently linked account. Classy Taxi returns two fields, sub and email, for the account. Later, after you receive real-time developer notifications for the new subscription, you'll call subscriptions.get to get the full purchase object. Here you'll find external account ID has been set to the sub value provided in your user info response. Since you know which account the subscription belongs to, you can now register the subscription with that account and acknowledge the purchase with the Google Play Developer API. And as a fallback in case of linking errors or some race conditions, your Android TV app should also check for unacknowledged purchases using query purchases in your onResume method. And finally, with your app already granted permission to sign in with Google, you can automatically sign the user in using Google Sign-In's Silent Sign-In API on Android TV. You'll call Silent Sign-In from your Google Sign-In client. If successful, it'll return a Google sign-in account, and you can use the Google ID token to sign the user in. And that's it. I hope you now have a better understanding of Friction Subscriptions and how it leverages all these different integrations. Thanks for watching.